I never thought that I would say this, but fixed deposit rates is outperforming everything that we have right now. Remember, just three months ago, all the aunties and uncles were happily queuing for hours to apply for a 2.7% fixed deposit. Well, they just queued for nothing. Because now, FD rates have climbed all the way to 4.2%. This 4.2% is outperforming UOB1 accounts 7.8% interest. Oh, sorry, that up to thing is a little misleading. It should be 3.85% interest. It's outperforming Singapore savings bond, T-bills, Tesla, and even Warren Buffett Kong Kong himself. So, in this video, I will show you which bank is currently offering the best FD rates. Not just that, I'll be splitting it into a few categories because FD rates may vary depending on the amount and the tenure. Finally, I will also give you some tips and tricks on what to look out for when it comes to FD. All right, let's start right now. Okay, here's how I'm going to do it. I will show you what's the best FD rates for 6 months, 12 months, and 24 months. Then, I will also show you what's the best FD rates for 5K and 10K and above. Also, as a bonus, I will show you which FD is giving the highest interest for our CPF money. I will put all the timestamps into the timeline down below so that you can just skip to the part where you are interested, yeah? First up, the best FD rate for the 6 months tenure is offered by CIMB at 4% interest per annum, minimum amount $10,000. However, to get this 4%, you will need to be a preferred banking customer, aka someone who has an account balance of 250k or more, or has a mortgage loan size of $1 million. If you qualify, CIMB will invite you to shake hands and drink tea with them, and of course, get the 4% interest. But otherwise, the next best rate is also offered by CIMB at 3.95%, minimum amount $10,000, and Bank of China, which is also offering 3.95% via mobile banking placement at a lower minimum amount of 5K. Next, the best FD rates for 12 months tenure is also offered by CIMB at 4.2%, minimum amount 10K. And again, you need to be a preferred banking customer, someone who has an account balance of 250K or more, or has a mortgage loan size of $1 million. But otherwise, CIMB is also offering the next best rate at 4.15% with a minimum amount of 10K. Moving on, the best FD rate for a 24 months tenure is offered by RHB at 4.1% interest, minimum placement 20K. To get this rate, you will need to make a placement via the RHB mobile SG app. And the best part, you can redeem the funds anytime you want without any fee. But the downside is you won't receive any interest if you redeem early. However, if you are unable to fork out 20K, you can check out Bank of China, which is offering a 4% interest via mobile banking placement and only requires a 5K deposit. Quick pause, did you know that the Weibo app has quite a lot of features other than, you know, just buying and selling stocks? For example, you can read up on important stock news in the news tab. Or if you go to the company tab, you can check out key financials and indicators here. For example, you can see that Tesla's earnings per share has been going up. Nice. Return on asset, return on equity, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and there's even a peer comparison too. Also, right now, their sign up bonus is super generous. By just depositing 2000 SGD in, Buy one US stock or one ETF with a minimum transaction of 100 USD, buy one US option, or while maintaining a 2000 SGD net account value for that 30 days, and you will receive a $150 cash voucher reward. So if you are interested, you can sign up to Weibo using my link down below. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Now, let's look at where you can get the best FT rates with just a 5K deposit. And the answer is, Bank of China. If you can park the money for either 9 months, 12 months, 18 months, and 24 months, you'll get a 4% interest rate. But if you can only just park for 6 months, you will get a slightly lower interest rate at 3.95%. 3 months, 3.75%. Next, 
how about the best FT rates for deposits above 10k? For this, CIMB is offering the best FT rates at 4.2% for preferred banking and 4.15% for personal banking with a tenure of either 12 months or 18 months. But if you need shorter periods, the winner is still CIMB though at a slightly lower rate. This is for deposits anywhere from 10k all the way to $1 million. But just in case you need to deposit more than $1 million, you will have to use Bank of China, which is offering 4.1% interest 12 month tenure for deposits anywhere from 300k all the way to $10 million. Last but not least, did you know that you can also invest your CPF money into fixed deposits? But here's the thing, you can't just invest your CPF money into any of the fixed deposits that I mentioned just now because they only support cash savings, not CPF money. They are same same but different. Currently, only OCBC lets you invest your CPF money into FT. But it's not this part. You have to scroll down a bit to see the CPF section. Here, it's offering 3.4% interest, 12 months period. The minimum placement is at least 20k all the way up to $1 million. But if you are a rich boy and want to deposit anything more than that, you have to call them, yeah? They will maybe ask you to come down, shake hands and drink tea with them. So those were all the best FT rates depending on the amount and tenure. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on using FT. First tip, and this tip is super important. Interest rates are climbing up super fast and there's no easy way to compare the rates. But luckily, someone by the name of Easy Data and Chuans came out with this Singapore FT rates comparison tool. I will leave the links to this website down below, yeah? Here, you can enter the deposit amount, tenure, senior citizen or not, click fetch result, and you will be able to easily get the most updated rates. So do check out the website whenever you want to apply for FT. Second tip, be clear on why you are putting your money in fixed deposits. Yes is to earn interest la, duh. But depending on what's the reason, it may or may not be a good idea. So here are a few scenarios. Scenario one, you are planning to invest the money. Even though right now, FD is giving a higher return than the stock market, there's a possibility that the market could U-turn anytime and start going back up. If that happens, oh, you will end up missing the bottom. That time, you cry until no tears, also no use la. If you are planning to invest that money, don't put it in FD. Instead, put it in either your high yield savings account like the UOB one that is giving 3.85% interest now or put it in your broker to earn a return. Right now, there are four brokers that's giving an interest for parking your money with them. Mumu Singapore is giving 3.2% interest, Tiger Brokers 3.36%, IBKR 3.6% interest for balances above 14 k and poems that's giving 2.89% interest. Yes, you earn a slightly lower return, but it's better than miss buying the dip, yeah? Scenario two, you are planning to use the money within the next few months or next few years. It can be for stuff like traveling next year or buying your house with your honey five years later. Ah, in that case, FD is the best choice right now. It's giving the highest interest compared to all the other fixed income investments out there. And you certainly don't want to invest the money because the dip might get deeper. Third tip, even if you have a lot of money, don't just all in into FD at one go. Here's why. First reason, as you have seen already, FD rates are going to the moon over the past few months. So if you were to deposit everything right now, you might get stuck at a lower rate while the rates continue to go up. The Fed has already said that they will continue to raise rates until they can keep inflation under control. And because of that, the market is expecting that the rates to continue climbing up for a while more until the middle of 2023, next year. If this were to play out, we will still have another two to six months to slowly DCA into fixed deposits. Second reason, by splitting up your FT, it will be easier for you to redeem early in case you need to do so. So, for example, if you have 9k to invest, you can invest 3k in December, 3k in January, and 3k in February. Then, if you want to redeem, 
you can just redeem the one with the lowest interest while the rest are still earning some interest. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, it helps you out. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.